Welcome to AP Physics. If you're looking for phys ed, that's in the gym, and I recommend you leave now. Physics tells us that the universe is governed by immutable laws, kind of like my classroom. If you break my laws, you'll find out that for every boneheaded action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Bronwyn, how good of you to help me demonstrate this concept. Is this yours? Uh, yes, but my phone's in my locker. Open it. This, this isn't my phone. Your action was to bring a cell phone into class, and my equal and opposite reaction is to give you detention. What? That's not fair because that's not my phone. It is fair, and it's final. You can have your phone back after detention. Okay, people, let's open our books now to page 18. <laughs> How was it? Hey, you ready to school me in debate? So ready. I just have to make a quick stop first. Okay, cool. In detention. Bronwyn Rojas, detention on the first day of school. It's a total misunderstanding. Can you use Miss Fox, I'll be late. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna stop by the cafeteria. Lemon snapple. You're the best. Bronwyn, I'm flattered. I, uh, I didn't know you were a fan. I'm not. That was a hate read. Oh, that's a shame. Out of everyone, I thought you would get it. Get what? That I'm doing a public service. Uh -huh. You don't think girls deserve to know that Reggie has a camera hidden above uh, his bed? So it's a feminist app. You're like a teenage Ronan and Farrow? Oh, so you do get it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have somewhere to be. Oh, small world. Me too. Congratulations. You're the only five students in this entire school who could still get detention every day this year. In my experience, the students who get detention on the first day of school end up here a lot. So, we might as well get to know each other. I want you to write an essay introducing yourselves and reflecting on what you did to get here. There will be no talking, no passing notes, and no more doodling. Miss Avery, I know you didn't believe me in class, but that phone you found wasn't mine, so I technically don't belong here. Well, no, Brown would never intentionally break the rules. No, I wouldn't. And I didn't. See? My phone's right here. Did you seriously bring another phone into detention? Hand it over. Sorry, but does it the fact that you're confiscating my phone twice seem weird to you? I mean, why would anyone have two phones? Well, I can think of a few reasons. What about you, Nathan? What's your problem, man? With you? Well, I think you know. Enough. Papers and pens out. If I'm gonna stay here unfairly, could I at least use my computer? I try to avoid paper for environmental reasons. Oh. Well, I try to avoid devices that connect to the internet for making sure that you actually do your work reasons. But I... Oh, another word! And you'll have detention again tomorrow. And I don't think either of us really wants that, do you? How are there more questions, Simon? This is a very simple assignment. I just need to go get my water from my locker. No. You can go 45 minutes without water. Well, actually, no, I can't. I have xerostomia. It's a medical condition where my salivary glands underperform. Yeah, I know what dry mouth is. You may get a cup of water from the water cooler. The cups are... And no, I don't care that the cups are made out of paper. Bronwyn. What I do care about is that everybody is quiet and doing their work. It's a thousand words, so I recommend that you start now. Shit. Hey, I want to see real progress on those essays by the time I get back. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the Laguna guys, right? That's insane. Yeah, fucking Laguna. Eddie, do you uh, recognize any of those asses? What's that supposed to mean? That just means that you have sex with jocks, so you know, I thought you might have seen them naked. Your obsession with other people's sex lives is seriously pathetic. What about you, Coop? What about me, Simon? Just from the locker room. I don't spend my time at the locker room staring at other guys' asses. Oh, and of course they got away.
You know, nobody at this school would get called out for anything if it weren't for me. Why do you care what happens to them? Well, it's not about them. It's about the principle of the thing. Principle? But there's so many privileged assholes in the school who just think they can get away with anything because, what, rules don't apply to them? <coughs> it's bullshit. <coughs> this tastes weird. <coughs> I think there's something wrong with this. Simon, are you okay? <coughs> I need my pen. I need my pen. What's wrong with you? Help! I'm calling 911. What pen, Simon?